Let's go to some breaking news happening right now. Detroit's bankruptcy. Comments from a state lawmaker could be a game changer. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner is live downtown. Jim, what's going on? Jeff and Joanne, this could be a deal breaker. It's part of that so-called grand plan, $350 million in state money coming here to Detroit to soften the blow of pensions of 23,500 Detroit retirees here in bankruptcy, now tied to new contributions from unions, the labor unions who represent these employees. Take a look. This is the statement late this afternoon coming from House Speaker Jace Bolger with this new demand. He says, I think it's entirely reasonable to expect the unions to give back to the very people they profited from. The union leaders made these deals that couldn't possibly have been afforded. They built up their own savings from membership dues paid for by unaffordable contracts. Now they want to walk away, effectively leaving the retirees that are supposed to have represented holding the bag. What he's saying is there'll be no vote on this $350 million in the House if the unions decline to participate. He says if they don't, it kills the deal. Now, you remember, it was a couple of months ago that Governor Rick Snyder, Bolger, and the Senate leader said they would contribute this $350 million in tobacco money, part of the grand plan to save the art at the Detroit Institute from being sold to soften the blow on pensions. We saw the two employee pension systems ratify these deals just this week because of this money. Now if it's pulled out, what happens to the deals? We're still working to find out more reaction, but I can tell you one source told me this afternoon this is coming out of left field, and it's nothing more than Republican politics in an election year. I'm live downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.